Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and if it's your first time clicking onto my video, welcome, welcome. So in today's video, we're going to make some pull apart garlic bread. So yeah, let's just get into it. So uh, in a bowl, you're going to add your mix, your dry ingredients, which is two and a half cup flour, half a teaspoon of salt, uh, one tablespoon of yeast and two tablespoons of sugar. You can add more sugar depending on how you like, how sweet you love your bread. But yeah, that's what I did. And then I mixed everything together and then I just set that aside. Then you're gonna get your, in, a other, in another bowl, a much bigger bowl, you're gonna add one egg and about a cup of uh, warm milk. And you're just gonna whisk, whisk that together just like that and then after you're done whisking you're gonna add all your dry ingredients into that with into the wet ingredients and yeah, you're just gonna mix with the um, spatula or any wooden spoon that you have so you're just gonna you're not gonna mix you're gonna fold in yeah mix and folding in a combination of that and then after that after like it the the, the wet ingredients have like you know sort of like mixed with the dry then you're just gonna Put, leave your spatula or your spoon on the side and you're now gonna start kneading with your hands so I really don't like kneading because it's just the whole process out of used um, the stand mixer but then I just wanted to show you guys that you can make this without you know any special equipment or whatever appliances I don't know yeah that so yeah and then you're gonna take it on the board and then you're just gonna lightly flour your board and then you're just also gonna continue kneading and then after you've kneaded and kneaded and kneaded you add about a quarter cup of butter and you also continue kneading up until the butter is fully incorporated into the dough so yeah you just keep on kneading for like five to ten minutes I don't know depends how fast you do it or yeah how quick your butter and your your dough mixes so my hands were getting so they were like so wet so i decided to stick i mean so i decided to add um flour onto my hands and also onto the dough so after kneading i also flour the surface and i just put it you can see that now it's you know it's looking a bit better so i added more um more flour so that because um, I wanted to roll the dough and I didn't want it to stick on the rolling pin so yeah you just um, roll it up until it's like so thin probably about five centimeters because the dough is going to rise so yeah you don't want it that thick so in a bowl you're gonna add about 100 grams of soft butter mine I, I forgot to take it out of the fridge so I had to put it in the microwave and then you add about two tablespoons of fresh parsley and also about three teaspoons of fresh garlic and then you're just gonna mix everything together and then you set it aside right then your dough you have to cut it cut it or slices I don't know the correct term to use I'm, I'm not a chef like that so yeah you just cut your dough like that you know because you're trying to have like equal square like shape type of thing but yeah that's definitely equal but we're just gonna forget about it and then yeah um then you just pile them together which was a bad idea so guys don't pile them together just leave them like that because they're gonna stick uh onto each other onto each other or whatever and it's going to be complicated you know like when you have to take one part and whatever so you're gonna take your garlic butter parsley mixture and you're gonna add onto that then you take that other dough and then you put it on top and then you take again the garlic butter parsley mixture and then you add then you're just gonna keep on repeating the process so I did it and I did it and did it and like quite a lot and then um, you see me that I added it into the loft tin because yeah I wanted to see like how much more I'm gonna need but eventually I used all of it so yeah you just keep on repeating the process up until you're done with like you know adding butter and everything to to the dough and then there you see me adding it to the love tin then you just repeat the process up until you're done
you're done with all the dough and the butter mixture you just the remainder that you're gonna have you can just eat it on top and then you're gonna cover your dough and then you're gonna set it aside in a warm place for about 45 minutes so 45 minutes later your dough is supposed to have uh, doubled in size just like that and then now you bake it in the oven at 180 degrees for about 30 minutes or more Dep I yeah for about 30 minutes or more depending like if it's like you know golden to the way that you like it so 30 minutes later your bread is gonna look something like this guys can you just see how good that looks okay whilst, whilst it's still hot you're just gonna get butter and you're just gonna brush it you know because you want it to look you know nice and stuff and then yeah and also it's gonna make it even more soft though the bread was soft itself but yeah and then you add butter and then guys this bread was so delicious like it was so so nice and it smelled so good you know like the garlic the fresh garlic the parsley the butter like everything it was just it was just nice the house smelled so good it was smelling amazing but yeah guys now you can see can you check out the the layers can you see like all the layers you know like when you pull when you pull the bag the bread guys come on see look at this look at this can you see that can you see the the parsley you know you have to use fresh ingredients so that the bread comes out looking or comes out this good you know when you use fresh ingredients i know it's going to make so much difference but yeah guys don't forget to subscribe you know we're on a road to 2k or maybe we're already on 2k i'm not sure but yeah i'll check but guys can you also see like how golden the crust is guys can you see that if you try making if you if you do try um this recipe out please just let me know and guys don't forget to like share uh comment you know and all that good stuff but yeah guys thank you so much for watching my video see you in the next video bye